Hey y'all, I am back with my review of Warcraft. So I Warcraft last night and this thing is getting such mixed reviews that uh, I feel I should tell you off the top, I actually enjoyed myself in the theater and I love when a movie gives me some energy because I ride my bike a lot, so I rode my bike home from the theater and it gave me some, you know, positive energy for my ride home, all about doing the right thing and being a warrior and and fighting with honor. Those are messages I took away from the movie. I, full disclosure, do not play Warcraft. I uh, have stayed away from the world of WoW because, well, I am just fearful that it would eat my life because I do get addicted to things like that. I love the whole world of fantasy. Uh, I love being a mage. I love being able to tap into that as a gamer, uh, which is why I love playing Elder Scrolls series so much. I love Oblivion, and while I was watching this movie, because I don't play World of Warcraft, I kept thinking, oh my god, I have to go back and play Oblivion, I have to go back and play Skyrim, I have to get back into Elder Scrolls. I love this world so much, I love the world of fantasy, um, just more so on my Xbox. The movie stars Travis Fimmel, who you may know from a show called Vikings. Uh, I met him on the set of Vikings. He was mildly in a probes, but a uh, cool dude. Great guy. Set of the in a probes. It was a fine conversation. Uh, he is playing the exact same character in this movie. He is Ragnar. I swear he has the same accent and everything. They, they just, like, the direction they gave him was, okay, you're still Ragnar. And now you're in Warcraft. Go! Paula Patton is in this thing. Uh, she is the most beautiful half-orc, half-human I've ever seen. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. It was a weird language thing in the beginning. She can speak both languages. Um, I want to spoil... I feel like I'm... Am I spoiling things? I feel like I'm not spoiling things. I don't know if I'm spoiling things. So I'm just going to keep going. But Paula Patton uh, has this weird anger with accent thing going on when she's talking to the humans and then it kind of goes away. It was just a very distracting accent situation for a moment. Then I kind of just got into it. I'm super into the story of mages and we get to see some of that in this movie which is why I was excited about it and I do not play Warcraft but people that were sitting in front of me do and they seemed really stoked for the whole movie as well. Just little easter eggs that kept popping up. They were just really excited about it. I don't like IMAX. We saw this in IMAX. I don't like IMAX. Everything is just too in my face. It's too all around me. In the beginning I almost trip balls wearing those 3D glasses sitting there with these close-ups of these super CGI'd orc faces. It was just too much my face. I couldn't deal. There were some comedic elements in there too. There had a, there was a couple chuckles. I chuckled. I chuckled. And when I left the theater after two hours, I wasn't bored. I wasn't annoyed. I was satisfied with my experience. Would I pay for an IMAX ticket? No. Absolutely not. I would pay for a regular ticket to go see this thing. It's it honestly is entertaining. It's entertaining. You if you like anything to do with orcs, what's wrong with orcs? Orcs and humans battling it out. There were some really scary graphics where I felt like, yo, this thing's gonna give me nightmares for sure. I do implore you to go see this thing if you're into Warcraft at all or if you're into this fantasy realm at all because this will cater to that need and it will entertain you. I was entertained. Yes, the critics are all over the map with this thing uh, and I do feel like I, I'm giving it a little bit of a pass because I was not expecting a lot from it. So for that reason, I enjoyed it more. That's what you gotta do, I think. You just gotta lower the bar, walk in there, grab some popcorn. Also, I had popcorn. That adds to my enjoyment of the movie. Also, I had those little Twix bites. Adds to my enjoyment of the movie. You know, all these ingredients add to the entertainment experience. So, uh, do all of those things and uh, you'll be all right. You'll enjoy yourself. Let me know what you think about the movie, if you go to see it, or your thoughts about the movie in general, even if you didn't. I would love to read your comments. Uh, as I always do. I'll be back tomorrow with a fun treat for you to make and eat with me. And uh, thanks so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.